Welcome back to the Jets Lounge. Today we're going to be showing you four tie knots every man should know. We're going to go from simplest to hardest. We're going to start with the four in hand. We're going to do a half Windsor, a full Windsor, and one we're not too sure about, but we're calling it the double wrap. The first tie we're going to be talking about tie knot is the four in hand. This is the first knot every man, every boy learns. That's the first tie I learned. The first tie. This is a tie. If you go to a private school, you always learn this tie. Private school. It's the only only tie knot I knew how to tie for the first six years till I go. turned about twenty. Only tie knot I knew. What I like about this classic is that uh, it's uh, it's actually making a resurgence. So it was it's almost like a like a lost art. It's the simplest tie, but it really accents a guy's body who is slender. So someone like myself, not so this. much. George, half Windsor. <laughs> so this is the first one. The second tie we're going to be talking about is the half Windsor. This knot is the most popular tie knot right now. This and is the tie knot you see on every mannequin yes. in every store. Yes. This is what uh, usually the Mad Men, they make this popular, you know. So this right here, I like it because it, it just gives, if you have a nice spread collar, it gives it a little bit more of an oomph. And uh, depending on the tie type, it can really look really, really sharp. Or when, it can look small, or it can look a little bigger. When you have a, a spread collar, that's really when what determines what tie knot you're gonna use. The wider the wider your collar is, the wider the knot of the tie needs to be. The tie has to come to the edge of the collar, yes. so it doesn't, there's, there should be no open space between the edge of the collar. Like you can see here on Blake, how his tie just looks like it's coming right out of the collar, which is how it's supposed to look. This is actually a half Windsor. And I'm using a four in hand, it's on a, Thicker, thicker material tie though, so yes. it, it fills up the collar. The difference, you see the difference? Four hand is thinner and longer. Half, half Windsor is shorter and wider. This is a half Windsor as well, and look at the difference in size, even material. They're the same width of tie, but the thickness of the material depends on how big the knot's gonna come exactly. out as well. So that's another thing you need to pay attention to. The third tie knot we're gonna be talking about is the full Windsor. This is the Mac Daddy. Yes, this is this is the uh, Chuck Bass of ties. Did you just yeah. make a gossip girl? Gossip reference. girl reference. Well he actually <laughs> he actually changed the game in in terms of tie knots for all men. He brought this back, you know this is a more statement, more um, old money or if you work at ESPN. That's oh, because they're the big the bigger guy, the know. more huskier guy, the more masculine guy would use a full Windsor because of the size of his neck. In, in regards to this particular tie, which is a knitted tie, um, because of the material, it gives it an even larger illusion, you know, as you can tell. I don't even think I would, I don't even have a collar that's <laughs> have to come to the side of my neck. I would. <laughs> the last tie we have is, uh, we're not really sure what, what to call it, but uh, it's essentially a double loop that you make around. And uh, I like the way this looks. It's definitely a different different take on a, kind of like a foreign hand with an extra wrap. Exactly. Here, here at the Jets Lounge, we just call it a wrap around. Almost like the Double song. wrap? Double wrap or wrap yeah. around. <laughs> Double wrap. I'm trying to make up a name. If you know the name, comment below and let us know. Yeah, so yeah, what I like is that um, it could be, it's 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 casual. Say you're going to a, a, like a not so fancy dinner. So, it's more casual. Yeah. Kind of a conversation starter too, because you don't, you don't ever see a tie like that unless unless you're part of the, the Jets Lounge. We here at the Jets Lounge use these four knots on a regular basis, but also we think every guy should own at least one bow tie and know how to tie it himself. A self-tie bow tie is definitely something that every guy should at least learn how to do. Even if you don't wear these every day, I mean it's more of a statement piece. Yeah, it's, it's more of a uh, that becoming, so when, when you're when you're that boy turning into a man, when you, when, when you consider yourself a gentleman. There's there's a gap in the age where you really see bow ties like babies. You know, all babies are wearing bow ties and yes. like little ties. Pre-tie. Pre-tie. Of course. <laughs> Not our children, though. No. They're <laughs> going to tie their own bow Not ties. Not my son. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, a tie is a safe, safe bet. Safe goal. You're wearing a tie, you're playing it safe. Although, you if, you, if you're wearing a nice, small, small lapels, this bow tie is really going to pop. You know, it's going to be the, the, the center front of, of everything. You walk into that store, you walk into that building, you walk in 
to that hot date, wearing that bow tie with that nice uh, small lapel, bam, they're gonna notice you. Bow ties are always an option. This is an Remember to keep your options open. Added bonus. So this wraps up the four tie knots every guy should know. It, we went with the four in hand, the half Windsor, the full Windsor, and the double wrap. But if you know the name, make sure you comment below. Remember to like, subscribe, uh, hashtag Gents Lounge on Instagram or Twitter with your questions. And be sure to follow us at Gents Lounge on Instagram or Twitter. Also, be sure to check out gentslounge.com. And uh, we're actually going to have some videos on how to tie these ties up in this area over here. <laughs> so uh, be sure to check out those if you don't already know how to tie these ties. Thank you.